that. As we watch that fire for you in Glen Heights, it is signs a sign rather that the fire danger just is not going away here. Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley actually just signed a disaster declaration this afternoon because of the threat of wildfires, which we've been talking about. The state and fire service predicted these conditions likely going to get worse through the weekend, so that chance of rain Scott is mentioning is important. But here's our Jason Allen with what we know. It's so dry that any scattered rain that does fall and you see falling off in the distance isn't expected to make much of a difference. It's even bringing to a stop in some cities work like cutting the grass because of the concern that just a spark could lead to something bigger. After a week when fires have spread so fast, they destroyed a row of homes in Balch Springs and then again in Rendon. Everything that's burning is mine. It's all gone. <laughs> Cities and counties are bracing for more. The Forest Service forecasts the fire danger in North Texas to climb from high to very high by Sunday. Ahead of that, Tarrant County issued a disaster declaration for the next seven days. It frees up the use of emergency plans and assistance if it's needed. It's, it's severe. It's, I live in an unincorporated area. I'm nervous. While mowing down dry grass has been urged as a fire defense, some city departments in Fort Worth have decided it's not even safe to do that. They won't use any large mowing equipment until conditions change, only handheld trimmers and saws, and only when fire extinguishers are on hand, trying to avoid starting any accidents that could start the next big fire. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.